In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the problem calculating the pH of a weak base titrated with a strong acid. In this problem, you'll be given a formula for a weak base and also for a strong acid. And the first thing that you should do is write a balanced equation for the reaction between the base <clears throat> and the acid. CH3, 2, CH, NH2, that's our base, and our strong acid is HNO3. Bases are H plus acceptors, acids are H plus donors, so the products of this reaction will be CH32CHNH3 plus. We want to give it one more hydrogen because it's a base, and the acid is going to be turned into NO3 minus because it loses its hydrogen. We're going to use this balance equation to make an ice table, and then with all titrations, the ice table needs to be done in units of moles. We cannot be using the concentration, so you can't just take these concentrations and plug them into the ice table. Your answer will be totally wrong. So first thing we need to do is our um, calculate how many moles of the base we have. We'll do that using the molarity of the base and the volume of the base. 0 0.3400 moles. I'm just going to write base instead of writing that huge formula out. That means that we have, or 3, 0 0.3400 0 molar. That means we have 0 0.3400 0 moles per liter of the base. And we just want to multiply that by the volume of the base that we have in units of liters. 121 milliliters, 0 0.121 liters. This is going to give us the number of moles. 0 0.04114 moles. We'll put that into the initial spot for our base. And then we're going to do the same thing for our acid. We're going to calculate the number of moles of acid that we have. The molarity of the acid is 0 0.5400 molar. That means that we have 0 0.5400 moles of the acid per liter. And we have 46.6 milliliters of the acid, which is 0 0.0464 liters, 0 0.5400 times 0 0.0464 is 0 0.025056 moles. That's how much acid we have. 25056 and we have no products initially. Now because we're doing this reaction with a strong acid, the reaction goes to completion, which means that we need to look at the initial amounts of our acid and base. We have to figure out which one is the smallest of the two numbers, which one is the smallest number. That is our limiting reactant and that is the value of x in the ice table. So normally we would just be saying minus x plus x, but instead of saying x, we're going to use this exact number. That's how much is going to react. So we're going to say 0 0.025056 and minus 0 0.025056 and plus 0 0.025056 0 0.025056 and then we're going to do the math in each one of these columns on the ice table 0 0.04114 minus 0 0.025056. That leaves me with 0 0.016084 moles of the base, 0 HNO3, 0 0.025056 of each one of the products. Now there's two possible um, positions that you could be in at this particular time. You've got two options. You're going to have a zero somewhere over here on the left-hand side of the equation. I have a zero under my HNO3, my strong acid. It is possible when you do this problem that you will have a zero over here under your weak base, and you'll have an actual number, not zero, under your acid. If your acid ends up with something other than zero, so different from the outcome that I have here, to calculate the pH of that solution, you are just going to use the concentration of your acid. So if you have a number other than zero for the ending amount of your acid, you're going to calculate the pH by taking the negative log of the acid. Make sure that you uh, um, convert the moles, because this number will be in moles. Make sure you convert it into molarity first, which I'll show you how to do in a second. 
If you don't have that, if your situation is like mine, where you're ending with a zero for your strong acid, to calculate the pH, you're going to use the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation. pH equals pKa plus the log of the concentration of the base over the concentration of the acid. The problem is going to give you either the pKa or the pKb, one or the other. I have been given the, the pKb, and that's a really easy conversion. 14 minus 3.33 is going to give me my pKa, 10.67. And now I just need the concentration of the base and the concentration of the acid. First of all, which is which? Uh, when we're looking at these, the base is the thing that is going to have the smaller number of hydrogen atoms. The acid will have more hydrogen atoms. So what we have to do is just count hydrogens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine hydrogens over here. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten hydrogens over here. More hydrogens makes this guy the acid and this guy the base. Second thing we have to do is convert these numbers from moles back into molarity. Um, you'll be doing this whether you have to use Henderson-Hasselbalch or not. To do this conversion, you just want to divide by the total volume in units of liters. We combined 121 milliliters, 121 milliliters plus 46.4 milliliters, which is 167.4 milliliters, which is 0.1674 liters. So we're going to put these numbers down here, 0.1674 liters, uh, 0.1674 liters, and that's going to give us these numbers in molarities, 0 0.025056 divided by 0.1674 is 0.1497 molar and 0 0.01684 divided by 0 0.1674 is 0 0.09608 molar. And again, that's what you would need to do if you had ended with an actual number of HNO3 and you were dropping it straight into the pH equation, pH equals negative log of H3O plus, you would have to do that same molarity calculation before you plugged it into that equation. So let's take the molarity of our base, 0 0.09608, and the molarity of our acid, 0.1497, and we'll figure this out. 0 0.09608 divided by 0.1497, take the log of that number, and then add that to 10.67, and I get a pH of 10.48.